to configure your garage door to your existing iZone system, you will need a smart power point, the reed switch, and a garage door wiring relay. Step 1. How to pair the smart power point. Plug the smart power point into a wall socket. Press in and hold the pair button on the smart power point and at the same time press the pair button on the lighting menu. The smart power point will blink blue and be given a device ID if successful. We can rename this to door for future reference. Step 2. Pairing the reed switch. Open up the reed switch and remove the battery tab. Press in and hold the pair button on the reed switch and at the same time press the pair button on the lighting menu. The reed switch will blink blue and be given a device ID if successful. Step 3. Grouping the smart power point. Next, go to settings, configuration, then configure lighting and enter in the system password. Now select the devices menu, our smart power point and then press the pencil under group. Now select highlight group and assign the smart power point with a unique id number then press save now select our smart power point then on the right hand side select garage door step four grouping the read switch while in group setup press the hyphen next to the switch id then assign the read switch with the same group id as the smart power point now if you press the home button, you'll see that the garage door icon is now appearing on the lighting menu. For testing, you can move the reed switch in and out, and you should see the garage door icon opening and closing accordingly. Step 5. Installing the garage door. To wire the ISO voltage-free relay into the garage door controller, you'll need to connect the two wires from the voltage-free relay into your garage door. Consult your garage door installation manual or visit our website where you can find most of the popular garage door wiring diagrams. You'll need to wire these two wires into the terminal shown as 1 and 2 on our diagrams. Once the wiring is done, you'll need a double power point at the garage door or a double adapter. Plug the garage door power into the top and the smart plug into the bottom. Then plug the voltage free relay into the iZone smart plug. You'll need to mount the reed switch and the magnet on the door when it is closed. Find a suitable location and ensure the two are mounted as indicated on the instructions. Once the reed switch and magnet are mounted, check the screen to make sure they show the door position is closed. Open the door and check the icon changes the door position to open. Close the door and check the icon changes back to closed may take some minor adjustments to the position of the magnet to ensure the feedback from the reed switch correctly reflects the position of the door. If your door fails to close all the way, you may need to adjust the pulse length in the lighting config menu. While in the lighting menu, you need to select the doors menu, then select our garage door and on the right hand side select pulse length and adjust the value, then press save. That's it from me. Thanks for watching our video.